What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I will be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial of remote.com. Now, what is remote? Remote is an HR company that really simplifies the process of UI and international candidates, whether it be employees or contractors. So I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can set up your account and hire your first employee and a complete overview of all the features available. So with that said, let's get started. So to get started, you can head over to remote.com or use the link in the description below. Now once you're there, all you need to do is select login. Of course you can't log in without having a username and password. You will be asked a few questions before you can continue. What do you need today, right? Select the best option that suits your needs. So I'm going to say I want to employ international workers and pay contractors. How many people are you looking to hire? I'm going to say one. When are you looking to hire them? Well, maybe as soon as possible, then select continue. Here specify your first and last name, your company's email and a password. Here you need to create a password and it needs to be a minimum of 14 characters. Do you have a promotional code? The next step is to agree to the terms of service and do you wish to receive blog updates for me? No, so I'm going to select create my account. Now please keep in mind that you have to use a company domain name it won't accept gmail yahoo or outlook so i'm going to select create my account now the next step is to confirm your email address so i have confirmed my email address now i'm going to select continue on this page you're going to specify all your company details specify your phone number for the company does your company have a vat ein or tax id for now, I'm going to say no because I really don't want to provide this. I'm just doing a tutorial. Select your desired company. I'm going to say US dollars. So provide a registration number for your company as well as select the currency. So here I'm going to select continue. Here complete your company's address and then select continue. Specify your postal code. Once your company address is completed, then select continue. Now let's go to our dashboard. Now on your dashboard, you'll just see a welcome message say hello, needs attention and updates that are available. Now needs attention is just prom prompting you to add your first hire. And if you go to teams, it will take you to the same thing to add your first hire. So if we select add hire, you have the option to choose between an employee or a contractor. So I'm going to select an employee and then select continue. So here, are you going to hire your employee through remote entity or your own? Now, if your country doesn't have a legal entity in that country, then it's best to use remote entity. So I'm, entity. So I'm going to select remote entity, then select continue. From the drop down list, select the country that you want to hire the employee from. So I'm going to say Canada, select the province, Ontario, employment, employment eligibility, you can choose from whether they are a citizen, whether they are permanent resident or temporary resident. So I'm going to select they are a citizen. Then select continue. Here you'll need to complete all the basic information about the employee, right? So for example, I'm just going to say EM. So I'm just going to say EM Jane is the full name. And for the email address, I'm going to say JM at Outlook. Specify their job title. I'm going to say DBA, the expected start date. I'm going to select the 30th of May and then select save. Does the employee have a seniority date? No. And then we're going to continue. Now here's where you're going to complete the contract details. So you provide a business description for the contract duration. We can go with fixed date. So you would need to select the end date of the contract. So I'm just going to select, say, October 2023 on the 24th. So I'm going to select save. Probation period in months. One. Now here you need to choose whether the employee is a full-time or part-time employee. So I'm going to select part-time. The amount of hours work per week. 20. And for the annual gross salary, I'm going to say 30,000. Now select confirm part-time salary. Is there a signing bonus? No. Any other bonuses? No. Commission? No. Equity compensation? No. Here select the number of paid time off. I'm going to select 4 days. I'm just going to put some random data here. So instead of you actually getting a contract, you just fill out the information that you need 
for the contract. So for the supervisor name, I'm just gonna call the supervisor MR Morrison, which is me. Levels of experience, three. And for training requirement, I'm going to say not applicable. No, no. Now for the benefits package, Remote offers its employees supplemental, comprehensive coverage with Remote Health provided in partnership with Canada Life and Canada Works. So you can choose your benefit package whether it be basic, standard, plus or premium. So I'm just going to go with basic. Or you can say you don't want this benefit, right? Are you going to do any form of retirement? This will vary depending on the country which you are hiring the employer from. So I'm going to say I, I don't want to offer this benefit and then select continue. So it needs a company description. I'm just going to put some random data here. Now select continue and it will take you to the pricing page. Here you need to choose your pricing plan for the employee. So for a single employee, it's $5.99 USD per month. Or you can do a pre-purchase seat at a discount, right? So I'm not going to proceed any further with this step. I'm going to continue with the other steps in the application. Now on the onboarding section, you'll see the information for the employees that you hired. On the time off section, if employees request time off, then it will be reflected here. On the incentives tab, if you plan to give your employee an incentive, then you can add the incentive pay here. On the expenses tab, you'll see expenses that are in a pending state, approved state, or declined state. And on the all requests, you can see all expenses. Now on the cost calculator, you can use the cost calculator to get an estimate of how much it would cost to hire an individual internationally. On the compensation tab, you can explore the salaries that are typically paid in that selected country. So if I select job title, account executive, account executive, then I say Canada, then I select seniority as mid, then select C compensation, then the median salary is 94,000, right? And on the low end, it's 48K and on the high end, it's 139,000. Now on the pay contractors, tab you will see your outstanding invoices as well as your scheduled invoices to schedule an invoice you'll simply select schedule invoicing create invoice and then you can complete the relevant information so i'm going to close this now on the service invoices and the billing section will show all your billings that you have conducted on your account now on the billing page you can find all your past payments and check their statuses. On the payment method, you can choose a contractor subscription, set up automatic pay. Here you can set up your bank account. So whenever you're making a payment or even an auto payment, then it will be automatically deducted from your bank account here. So if I select add payment method, then I have the option to enable ACH direct debit or credit or debit card payment. Now on the company settings, you can change a bunch of information about your company. Whether it be the general information such as your phone number, VAT number, or registration number, your location, or even your bank details. Now on the document section, you can view any pending documents, manage your taxes, or view pending contracts. On the integration, you can integrate HR solution like HR Bamboo, automation processes like Zapier, and ATS like Greenhouse Applicant Tracking System. So they have only six integrations so far, and I expect more to be coming on in the future. In the marketplace, you have Slack, Brex, and Carter Hink. Now they have a bunch of partners so if you select explore partner you can partner with or maybe even companies that you are familiar with. They have like Mercury Bank you can open a Mercury Bank account. They also have Wise which is another excellent virtual online bank. So the user face is really so everything is so everything is organized in a simple manner for you to understand. Nothing is there that is really complicated. Once you open your account Everything is really once you open once you open your account like getting things that you need done is simply just looking around the dashboard to find what you need. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.